Now a Fox News alert. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel is continuing to testify before the House Armed Services Committee on the strategy to battle ISIS. At the same time, Secretary of State John Kerry is front of the House Foreign Affairs Committee also talking about ISIS. It comes amid debate within the Obama administration over the need to call in ground troops to stop the advances of that terror group. At least five of our nation's military heavyweights have now said we cannot rule out the use of ground forces against ISIS. Let's talk about all of this with Mark Dubowitz, the executive director of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. So uh, clearly you've got two of the administration's heavyweights, the secretary of state and the secretary of defense, trying to convince maybe a skeptical Congress that the administration has a viable plan here. Well, that's right, John. There's a lot of skepticism in Washington about the viability of this administration's plan, especially when you have the president of the United States saying that he's not going to send combat troops back into Iraq, and then you've got the chairman of the Joint Chiefs saying that he may have to. So a lot of mixed messaging and uh, a lot of concern that this president doesn't have a real plan for the defeat of the Islamic State. And part of the plan, apparently, might involve Iran? Well, that's the real concern. I mean, you know, the, the problem is, is that the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria and the Islamic Republic of Iran are two sides of the same jihadist coin. And Iran has done more than any other actor to, flame, to fan the flames of sectarian warfare. They, they helped create the Islamic State. They helped create the Islamic State by backing the Shia government of Maliki in Iraq and by backing Bashar Assad in Syria. They created a vacuum that led to the repression of Sunnis. And now you've seen into that vacuum the arrival of a brutal Islamic State. So now the administration is talking about thinking about going to Ali Khamenei and saying, hey, let's get together and help defeat this group? Well, that's right. And the deep concern is that in New York this week, we're restarting nuclear negotiations with the Iranians. The Iranians are very savvy negotiators. They're only going to provide us concessions with respect to the Islamic State and their assistance in exchange for nuclear concessions. They're playing us on both sides. And ultimately, the deep concern is that you're going to have a in Iran with a nuclear weapon or nuclear weapons capacity in the Middle East dominated by the extremists. So how does the administration, I mean, why even deal with them on an issue like this? Do we need them that badly, the Iranians? Well, we don't need them, but we, we may need them if we're not willing to actually put boots on the ground, if we're not willing to use the U.S. Air Force to obliterate Assad's Air Force and go after ISIS wherever they are. The, what the Khamenei, the supreme leader, is counting on is our unwillingness to follow through on the mission. And if we don't follow through, he knows we're going to have to depend on Iran, and he's going to translate that into negotiating leverage at the table in New York this week. So if you, if you defeat Assad's air force, essentially you have defeated well, a proxy of the uh, the Iranians, right? Well, that's exactly right. And you've also restored American military credibility. I mean, the president talks about having all options on the table with respect to Iran. The reality is we have no course of options anymore. We've taken off the military option. We've taken off the economic leverage. And now we're just engaged in diplomacy with the Iranians. And they're out negotiating us at every step of the way. And they obviously want something for their nuclear program uh, if, if, in fact, they want to give us any cooperation. Like a nuclear weapon. Yeah. Mark Dubowitz from the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Mark, thank you. Thanks, John.